In part four, we terraformed planets, set up star bases, balanced our economy further, and expanded our fleet power. In part five, we will build cruisers, star holds, and specialize our vassals. I want to get cruisers, but we need crystals, so we'll get that first. We've reached naval cap, so now we need to increase it. So we will start upgrading our star bases and build more anchorages. The next tradition is data uplinks. This increases our research and unlocks the research subsidies edict. We might use that later. Okay, next we are getting cruisers. These will be the mainstay of our build. Cruisers are hot right now in the meta. We are going to design some good ones. Every time we get more than 5k energy credits stored, we are going to terraform another planet. Looks like our star holds have finished. We are going to make new anchorages and raise our naval cap considerably. Next tradition is polytechnic education, which gives leader bonuses. Not really anything super important, but is required for us to finish the tree. So every once in a while, piracy happens. As long as you have over 3k fleet power, you can easily crush those pirates. We have a lot of influence and we don't have habitats yet, so instead we are going to change our vassal agreements. If you have the Overlord DLC, you can turn a vassal into either a Prospectorum, a Scalarum, or a Bulwark. We'll be turning this vassal into a Prospectorum. However, before you post about this not being in the base game, I will show you how to change your agreement so you are getting similar results out of your vassals with or without the Overlord DLC. If you don't have the Overlord DLC, don't pay attention to Steam reviews. Out of all the DLC, I think Overlord brings a lot to the table as far as content is concerned. Overlord is a really good DLC and I highly recommend it. But if you don't have the Overlord DLC, do this. Set Overlord Conflict to All, Independent Diplomacy, Expansion Permitted, and Unified Sensors. Set Basic Resource Contribution to 15%, Advanced to 15%, and Research to 15%. Do this and you should be alright without any DLC. If you don't have enough influence or acceptance to change it all at once, that's fine. Change what you can and change the rest later when you have more influence and they should have more acceptance later on. If you have the DLC, great. Your first vassal should be a Prospectorum. To change, click Vassal at the top right corner, select Prospectorum from the drop down menu, set to Independent Diplomacy, Expansion Permitted, Unified Sensors, leave everything else untouched. We can set Overlord Conflicts to all later. Word of warning, this costs three influence a month while transitioning. So make sure you got plenty of monthly influence gain like we have now. Don't do this unless you've claimed all the systems you've wanted to claim. Timing is key. Okay, acceptance is checkmarked and we have enough influence. Let's click proceed. You should get the message that they're converting into a Prospectorum. By the way, look at all the resources we are getting now that we changed our vassal to Prospectorum because we are taking 30% of their basic resources and 15% of their advanced resources. However, we are sending them research so it can be a trade-off. We will need to make a Scalarum next to offset this. We are getting a lot of energy credits now, so we'll make sure to be terraforming constantly. Now time to make some colony ships to prepare for our expansion. Hyper relays from the Overlord DLC are really cool. They allow fast travel in your empire, but also your vassals. They also provide stability for yourself and your vassals, making it harder for planets to rebel. I make a point of getting this as soon as it comes up, but if you don't have hyper relays, that's fine. You can always get gateways to travel fast in your empire. It will just take longer. Hey, our vassal finished converting to a Prospectorum. Let's see if we can convert a Scalarum next. Scalarums are really cool. They generate research for your empire, but they require protection in return for that research as they will have handicapped fleets from naval capacity penalties and whatnot. So let's select it and see if we have enough. Also, I forgot to go over this. 
with the Prospectorum, but the Scalarium once converted levels up and each level gives you more and more research. Looks like we can do this, so proceed. Again, like Prospectorum, it costs three influence a month to transition. The Prospectorum levels up too, and more it levels, the more resources you get. It's pretty powerful. We terraformed our first planet. Colonize it like any other habitable planet. Rare crystal manufacturing is a must as soon as we can take it. We finished cruiser research, so it's time to design ships and expand our fleet again. So we got broadside bow, broadside core, and gunship stern for sections. Swarmer missiles in the M slots, missiles in the small slots, three shields since we don't have a better reactor, five armor, three afterburners, and an artillery combat computer. Once the design is saved, remember to delete the old design. Start pumping out cruisers. That's it for part five. If you like my stuff, you know what to do. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.